What is up you guys? Welcome back to Tatiana Michelle TV. As you guys can tell by the title, tonight we're gonna discuss how to know he's husband material. Is he even worth marrying? Because he proposed to you, do you gotta say yeah? Is he the one though? That's the real question. Is he the one? Just because he got down on one knee does not mean he's the one for you, okay? I'm gonna give you guys 10 signs to know if he is worth marrying. And yes, I know, is way more than 10 signs to know if a guy worth marrying. I feel like if he's doing all these 10 signs, then sis, he's worth it, okay? Like he is worth it. But like I said, it's way more than these 10. Don't think because he's just doing 10, the minimum, he's okay. No, he still needs to be going above and beyond, okay? <laughs> My very first one, he needs to mention marriage. He desires to be married one day. I feel like a lot of women pressure men to be married. Like they're constantly bringing it up like, oh, well, when you gonna marry me? Let that man desire to be married one day. Let him mention like, listen, in the near future, I would like to be married. But if, if you're the only one that's always talking about marriage and he's he never bring it up, maybe he don't desire to be married. Like you want to marry somebody who wants to be married as much as you want to be married. If you're in a relationship and you are the woman and you really want to be married one day, but your partner is like never ever talking about it, then says maybe he don't want to do it. Like maybe he don't want to be married one day. Wouldn't you rather marry somebody who wants the same thing as you want? Early on in me and Monty's relationship, I feel like I was the one that was always talking about marriage. Like he never really mentioned it, but it was like a certain, Thing that he wanted from me and I'm just like no I need to be married and that was having a baby he's always like oh we should have a baby we should have a baby but I knew for a fact that I made a promise to myself before I even got a relationship with him that if I were to have another child I had to be married now I wasn't saying that so he can marry me I'm just letting him know like no baby come out of me unless I'm married you know so that was my way of mentioning marriage I wasn't like oh we gonna marry me oh my god please marry me like no because I said before in another video like I never was the woman who just like dreamed of being married but I knew if I wanted to I will be you know what I'm saying when he kept talking about getting me pregnant <laughs> sir <laughs> what a ring at you know what I'm saying <laughs> he needs to be a man of his word there's nothing more attractive than being with a man, marrying a man who is a man of his word. A man who says he's going to do something and he do it. You don't have to keep giving him hints. You don't have to keep telling him like, oh, are you feel like, no, he's going to do it. If he say he's going to do something the next day, he's going to do it. You don't have to keep nagging him. You don't have to keep asking him because he heard you the first time. So a man who keeps his promises, a man who says, that he's gonna come through for you and just do it. Like that to me is like so attractive. And that's one reason why I married my husband because he is a man of his word, okay? Do not marry somebody who where you gotta constantly ask him to do stuff. You have to constantly nag him. Like he don't wanna do it. If I gotta keep asking you to do it, you don't wanna do it. And I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? He can sit still. He's not always in the freaking streets. Like this man know how to sit still. He know how to wake up. You know what I'm saying? And just chill out with you for the day. He ain't always got to be on the go. A man who don't have a problem with just sitting on the couch with you all day, relaxing, watching some movies, listening to some music, just chilling with you for the whole entire day. Like, <laughs> that is just like a real man. Like, he ain't got to be out here because he know ain't nothing out there for him. He know what's for him is here like he he's home okay like that is a keeper i don't care because of most men gotta be on every scene gotta be doing this gotta be doing that but like no like a man who's for you he don't have a problem with being home with you now this one is for men who have kids or women who have kids you know you're dating a guy and he has children even if they're yours or not yours i feel like he needs to be a good father like he needs to be a father i don't know how women can be with men who have kids and knowing like he don't see his kids he don't do nothing for his kids like i don't get that like i don't get that at all because i feel like a man who is a good father would be a good husband and if you want to have kids with him in the near future if he not really do nothing for his kids that he don't have with you what makes you think he gonna do something for your child you know what i'm saying and being a good father is not just doing things for your child it's actually being there physically mentally emotionally and actually spending time with your kids okay so you have kids i feel like he needs to kind of like know that your kids 
comes with you. So that means he needs to get to know your kids on a certain level. He needs to do little things. I don't care if you want to go to the store. You, he had the store he think of your kid and he get like some candy or something. I don't know. Like he shows you that your kids is important to him as much as you are important to him. He allows you to have fun. Do not marry a man who don't want you to never, ever do anything with your friends, with your family. Like, he just wants you to himself. Like, he don't want you to do nothing. Fun is just being with him. It's very important for women to still make time for their friends, still make time for their family, or make time for themselves. So if a man is showing you signs that he don't never want you to do anything, he don't never want you to go anywhere, he is trying to be controlling, okay? If you feel like, dang, like, I love him, but, like, he don't never let me do nothing. Whoa, whoa. What? He don't let you do nothing? Mm-mm. This one, to me, is important. I mean, because I feel like people think once you get married, like, the wife is just a slave. No. No. If you're dating somebody and off the rip, he feels that you supposed to do everything. I mean, if you're trying to go the traditional route, like back in the day when the woman used to just sit home and take care of home while the father was, or the husband was out, you know, getting the money, then that's you. I just kind of feel like a real man needs to know how to cook and he needs to know how to clean after himself. It's not your job to clean after him. You already got other things you got going on, okay? So if this man is cooking his own food when he get hungry, he ain't waiting for you to do it for him or he's cooking for you and he's cleaning up his mess. He don't have a problem with cleaning up around the house. Sis, he a keeper, okay? He may not know how to cook, but if he know how to like, you know, make some breakfast, I feel like he's good. Like, everybody don't know how to cook and I feel like most men, a lot of men don't know how to cook, but if he do, that's a plus. But he need to know how to cook something. Don't just wait for you, you know what I'm saying, to cook him something when he's hungry. Like, that's a turn off. Like, you grown as hell and you waiting for me to cook you something because you hungry? No. My next one, and I know it can be very hard for a lot of men to communicate their feelings, but I feel like it's very important for men to communicate their feelings. Like, let us know how you feel. Let us know what you didn't like or how I may have treated you. And I, maybe I didn't know that you feel some type of way. Like, let me know. Don't go acting funny. Don't go mute on me. And this is something that my husband used to do when we were like engaged or in a relationship. If he didn't like something or were mad at me deep down, like he used to just go me like stop talking. Like mad corny. Mad corny. Okay. So <laughs> you see we didn't get married until he fixed that. So now he know how to like keep it real with me. He know how to communicate his feelings because it's very, very important. No one wants to be with a man who deep down he just can't say nothing. Like he mad at him inside. He he stopped talking to you because he feels the type of way. Like, I listen, sir. What's up? Okay, what's up? I'm gonna you put your pride aside and let me know how you feel right now, okay? This one, honestly, it should have been number two, okay? Well, maybe number one. I don't know, because number one was really important. But this one is very, very important to me. And I feel like any woman who's in a relationship or you're inspiring to be married, whatever the case may be, or even if you are married, your man needs to please you in bed. A lot of men out here are being selfish, okay? And what I mean by being selfish is you don't need to worry about yourself getting off. You're, you're not worrying about sis. Like, a lot of women are in these relationships and like the men do not give a damn about pleasing her. He need to please you in bed. Like you need to have orgasms, okay? You need to get yours too, as much as he getting his. Do you really want to marry somebody who is selfish in the bedroom? I mean, if you cool with that, then, you know, <laughs> that's you. It's very important to be with somebody who is very respectful to you, okay? Someone who's not calling you out your name. Someone who don't have you out here looking stupid. Not you out here playing yourself when you think it is something that's something different. This man is all for you. He's not disrespecting you. He's putting you first. He is making you feel good. Never be with a man who constantly disrespects you. Because if you let him disrespect you once, okay? And you okay with it? He gonna keep doing it, okay? Never ever be with a man. Never want to marry a man who disrespects you. And y'all already know what disrespect me. I ain't gotta get into details, but do not marry somebody who is disrespectful. I feel like you should never ever go to sleep without saying good night, without saying I love you. If y'all at that part where y'all telling each other y'all love each other, I don't know. I think that's rude. Don't don't go to sleep without saying good night. Don't go to sleep without saying I love you. Like, uh-uh. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. Do y'all feel like 
your man need to be telling you I love you and good night before he go to sleep. I feel like it shows that like he cannot sleep without letting you know I love you. Or just saying good night, like just think that's sweet. And to me, that means a lot. So those are my 10 signs of knowing if a guy is husband material. No, don't feel like because a guy proposed to you have to say yes. Like, no. Out of all those 10, I would say that he needs to at least be doing eight. Okay? I really feel like he should be doing all of them, but I'm gonna let y'all slide. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody different. Maybe what I think is important may not be important to you. If you are a guy and you're watching and you ain't doing none of this shit, you get on it, okay? So join in conversation below. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Leave some other signs that you guys think is very important. See you guys in my next video. Bye.